morning everybody and uh, welcome to the right talk series where we try to educate and try to see how you can achieve your financial goals with a peace of mind and it is always uh, nice to have these sessions because it's very close to my heart how we can make a change in people's life when we achieve so i think so uh, somebody has asked um sanjay can you just see somebody have asked a query please write a question and answer or a chat sanjay will help us to uh, take care of you so uh, this is a very a close i think so um, i have always noticed maybe working in this industry for last 14 15 years previously i worked in a wipro and infosys for almost like 8 15 years and that's the one thing which i keep uh, finding across uh investment is never be a money game that's my belief including uh, doing myself others meeting and all it is always an emotions and that emotion is a very very strong when you have a parent and child and today we were talking um, when we were doing walking and that's a very good uh, part of our life we have a good set of friends who doing for walk and every time when i do webinar i first thing i ask them okay uh, how you think um, you must have done the education planning because most of us kids are either uh, starting teens or about to finish and all and that's where a uh, very important part is how to take care of a child's had higher education and this is the one thing which i have noticed last few times the education has gone so high that nowadays uh, marriage is given as a low priority and which i believe it is good how to give the wings to the kids uh, dream and how to make sure that they fly each parents want it it's not the people who have money even if they don't have it how we can makes the ends meet is the best part i have many more stories where i have seen people have um, withdrawn their corpus from their um, retirement pf ppf and other things to make the kids education going across and which is very well said talking about education is the key to unlock the world in a passport to freedom where well, uh, opra will fair very very true and i um, fully agree that we should focus on the how to give an education of course this is a lot more debatable item um, where we can debate uh, what kind being a mother of two kids one is 15 and one is 21 and i can tell you um, it always says that okay you are not aware of what's a new trends going on and but that's the best part is always uh, how we have taken care for them and an education right so plan for child's education bright future so i am going to give a few different thoughts as usual my uh, thing is how we can make sure that we have a peace of mind more than other one so i'll give you my on uh, example i think so it is 2015 i think so we very rarely me and anil goes um, alone for the any trips and that was one of our first trip uh, where we were going uh, i think so we celebrating our 15th anniversary or something and uh, in middle of a flight in the air i thought okay if both of us died or this plane crash what will happen of course what is happened to the company that's a different question but what will happen to the our kids and in a very single moment i was very peaceful because i was telling a good thing in here they have a who will take care of a child in a catholic or its christians they have who is a, a parent uh, we call a god parents will take care and all but i was very sure that god parents can give you the good uh, stay live food and all but they may not be able to give the good education if they are looking for but what made me to make a very comfortable as a mother or as a, i can say financial planner is i was very sure that i have saved enough money for them that when they are 18 they will be able to take care of their higher education and that is the one thing i want all of you to have a peace of mind because we have seen the ups and downs and everything but we know that we will be able to give them what they want i am going to talk lot many trends what is happening it may applicable to you may not be applicable to you but my suggestion always is going to be 
try to make the graduation in india and post graduation is abroad otherwise it's a very very tough scene to take care being in a salaried person at least to take care of undergrad in a abroad because undergrad is after 12th they call and it will cost around 1.5 to 2 crores and which is very high cost so i always think that trends are changing and one more things which has been changing quite a lot uh, which i feel it is for a good of course we have to change our education system um, anil's brother is in a open university head of uh, australia and he was trying to say how anybody can just do a some other skill because in india still we are not giving so much importance which is coming slowly you will find lot many youngsters are doing a freelancing and started their own it's a very very good sign that we are looking as a young people understand and they do themselves but yes how we can now uh, just somebody has studied uh, uh, commerce and wanted to do something else which is not linked to commerce is not so open in the open universities here we still have a barriers of okay we should have a degree or we should have 12th to clear the phd also but that's not the same thing how the other countries are been happening and that's where i wanted all of you to think little bigger and louder if your kid knows from young what they want to do you are one of the privileged lot but i can tell you most of us kids doesn't know what they wanted to do so we will try to put some basic number uh, not so extreme like a i can say if somebody wants engineering somebody wants uh, architecture somebody wants to do a graduation how much money we should plan for it and take care of a masters a masters in india and masters in abroad how much we require it good point on this goal again is we have a uh, liberty in case we are not able to do it you can take an education loan an education loan can get a benefit also in the taxation so my intention here is to feel happy that we are privileged we are been having a kids who are been doing amazingly good so how we can give them a wings with their different different dreams to come through and um to give this uh, uh, storyline about overall kids education is one part of a financial planning so we should be knowing overall financial planning so i don't want you to sometimes overboard or become too emotional to take the one goal um i am giving you a live example here uh, one of my customer sons wanted to go abroad and he was sure that rachna i am in a industry where i can even take a transfer to us and try to earn there because i don't have enough money here if i'm earning in a dollars i'll be able to manage but his project or things didn't work well and he was not able to go to the abroad or he didn't get the transfer to abroad and he wanted around 1.6 crores and he was around 54 odd and he said okay because he has got the already the admission so let me go and withdraw from pf and he didn't have anything he withdrew from pf and then did it and which is impacting his retirement corpus and he is not able because all of us are not going to get a pension or regular income when we quit from our own uh, whatever job it is so we have to realize what is a bigger pie as a goals and what are the child education higher education is a one part of it so don't try to overlap so much sometimes when we give a higher priority and it is impacting others it is okay to take a loan that's fair enough and uh, if it is not i keep telling to my kids i will not send you to this because in case if i send to one and i don't have a money for second i will not feel guilty about it okay you sent to one and you didn't send to another so that may sometimes happens to me at least as a mother that uh, as a parent we wanted to do equally together so whenever you are making a financial goals keep it in a mind uh, that how much we can afford or otherwise we can take a loan don't try to mix it or give a lower priority to the another goals which may impact on the longer goal and retirement corpus there is no loans you can't have a loan for it getting a regular payments so it is better to have a wage the loans even though it is a longer process so uh, i always believe uh, it's better to have a uh, taking care of 
edu education or the i can say kids education uh, uh, planning with the basics itself so that's what i i'm sure all of you must have remember when we were small we used to have a piggy bank and whenever we get the money we used to drop it and we'll say very nice and we will wait to just buy what we love to buy so similarly try to have learn a kids two things one is uh, how they should save and have a value of money very very important i was doing this exercise with my mentor uh, uh, about my six months eight months and uh, so it's uh, six months one year three years and five years what is my goals and one of the my goal was how to go to the young generation and teach the value of money because what i have felt it uh, more than investing they don't have a value of money what they have they spend it and then they are having a lot of stress and other things like that so please start early and give them a value of money which is very simple i have been doing from last i can say 21 years because my first daughter born in 21 years back uh, whenever i used to go out still date i'm telling you she's just gone today out and i told that okay if you are going out your limit is like a when i was going to the shop uh, for any other grocery before i'll say okay 50 rupees or you buy whatever you want or if you are going for a coffee now in a college your limit is 200 rupees you should do whatever you want have a boundaries always for them they should know how to work within the boundaries and that boundaries will start their cultivation of a habit of how how much i have i should spend i cannot keep borrowing and do to the debt part of it have their own uh, saving account invest from them very important whatever interest comes we invest and make sure that is being taken care of because being a kid i'm sure they must be getting on your birthdays and festivals and quite a lot of things that works wonders so i wanted to give only one or two slides on our overall uh, financial planning and then i will go so uh, what is the financial planning and that's where the purpose of right to rise in always is how to guide and achieve people to achieve the financial goal with a peace of mind so you do it yourself you make a help you do anything but the change comes only when you execute so i was doing one certification last two weeks back and uh, things are when you go to the learn afterwards it will be the similar thing that keeps saying three things very clearly have a positive mind and what you learn you execute execute and execute so most of us all of us we know what is right but we don't do execution so it's like that you go to the gym membership but you don't go to the gym it doesn't work anyway so you may have a gym membership but it is not going to help you similarly if you know how to do a financial planning that's the best part of it you know how to save it very good part of it but save it that's very important dream is not something you see in the sleep the dream is the things which doesn't allow you to sleep so it will keep coming in your mind that yes i have to achieve those and just enjoy it so i'll just put it uh, this thing and then i will tell you my last week uh, learning here are the five steps of building successful financial plan planning for uncertainty First step is to protect yourself from uncertainty by buying required insurance policies to ensure that any uncertainty do not eat up your savings. Build contingency corpus. Second step is to build contingency corpus up to 6 to 9 months of your monthly expenses. This will protect your long-term investments from the contingencies like loss of job or slowdown in business. Set financial goals. Third step is to set financial goals and find out when and how much money would you require to achieve these financial goals. Create portfolio. Fourth step is to select right asset class and product to invest and to achieve your financial goals based on the time horizon and your risk appetite. Portfolio review. Fifth step is to review your portfolio periodically and do the necessary adjustments into it based on the remaining time period to achieve each goal. To create a financial plan and to review it periodically, always take the help. So before I start uh, the other uh, slide over it, 
I will just try to um, tell my experience on the last week. Um, and that's a very good observation. I felt it. Sometimes we don't realize that's observation. So I was going through the, I can say, uh, one of the family friends, uh, uh, they have invited us in the Coimbatore. So we thought, okay, let us go and do the long drive. And in Bangalore to Coimbatore, it was around six hours. So we were just traveling. And then I started realizing how the travel journey itself is like a we can think of investment or financial planning or i can say link to the kids education so when i started uh, uh, started driving we thought we will drive by morning six o'clock we'll start and i felt it the first thing what we all did it uh, means me and my husband anil went so we started to set the goals and i'm sure all of us will be doing the same thing we put it across in a google map what are the route and the route will say, I'm sure you will, must have seen and used it that it will say the longest route, the shortest route, the time shortest route, or the different routes, depending on the things like a, it was showing you wanted to go through the Mysore or you wanted to go through the Salem or wherever it is. So I am trying to say whenever we have a goal, it can be, let us say, a kid's education goal, you have to set the goal first. So if I, I'm just giving example, you have two kids or one kid, you will say that, okay, now he is of three years old. When he is 18 means 15 years later, I should have either 40 lakhs or some amount or as on today, 20 lakhs, then we can add the inflation and how much that comes. That will take care of your setting up the goals. And that is the one thing which I felt in the starting of the journey, we did that. And that's where we do it for a kid's education plan also. So when we are doing a kid's uh, Google map, you must have seen the most of the time, you will try to see that what are the ways we can go. At least uh, in Bangalore, so many times I have seen the Google shows the rate, but that is a one way. Okay. And sometimes it says that, okay, the, the uh, what I always say is why I don't know why they don't give the width of the road and actually car is not even able to go. So sometimes the Google map and other things is not matching. So what we do, we just do the reroute. And that's the best part of the things I keep saying. Even if it is not going as per the path, you don't have to worry about it. It just reroute it. It may take it maybe 10 minutes extra, 15 minutes extra, but it just reroutes. So that is what we should do it. It may happen that I wanted to achieve to achieve 20 lakhs, but I have a money now as of today, 5,000 or if, uh, whatever X amount which I'm not able to achieve. We can reroute it because we still have a time to take care of overall level where we can, maybe when we have a more bonus or made something, we can add a lump sum money and then achieve it. Third thing is what I learned in my this journey is um, enjoy the journey. Most of the time, sometimes we are so focused on the achieving the destination, we forget the journey part of it. And it is a six hour drive. I never felt it was six hour drive because it was very amazingly uh, journey, I can say. Uh, both the sides, hills and clouds moving and other things. So Anil was driving most of the time. And uh, he asked me, did you see that it was an accident prone area? Was there too much and all? And I said, why I should see your road? You were driving. So I was enjoying the hills and the clouds and the greenery. So he said, why are you not seeing the road? So I said, so most of the time, if I have given uh, control to you, I'm assuming you are the best in your own work and you will do it. So that is the another thing I have noticed it in a planning when we do, when you are making a control to somebody, it can be a spouse or a parent or a CA or an advisor, whoever you are giving a planning, give a control to him and that person will drive it and he will keep informing you on and off whenever is required. But you enjoy the journey with your kids, your family and everywhere because you know you are doing your best job and then other one you are not going to take care of it. That is the another thing which I uh, learned this six months, but I always tell that enjoy the journey over a period of it. So now it turns comes to me that I started driving because uh, most of the time he was driving and I was doing a pillion driver and now I started driving. So when I started driving, I realized it. By person, uh, I don't, most of the time, I don't like much driving, but in a city drive, you don't need in a Bangalore to go even at 60 uh, speed because the speed is so low. Everybody, this is a jam. So when you're going in a highway, I realize it, uh, it is going to 120 or plus also. So I keep getting an instruction from Anil saying that 
don't go above 110 or don't go above 120 and all. And I was telling, why you are, because in my, when I drive normally, you see in front, you don't see the speedometer most of the time, which is the one thing I learned that you should keep learning sometime to see speedometer also. You should not go beyond the speed limit. But in a bigger car, it beeps if it is going high. So it is my in my mindset, ki, okay, if it is going a little high, it will beep it. But I never realize it that we should have a boundary control to say that how much speed limit we can have. Similarly, when we are choosing the funds, you will know that how much risk I can take and how much risk I should not take. Very clearly, you know how to make sure that which fund will take care of my a bigger part and non-risky things will take care if I'm there or not there to how to take care of overall level. Planning versus actual. This is the another things which I love to do it. We are supposed to go for the one um, party and we say it is just showing 45 minutes. Let us give a grace minute of one hour, uh, 15 minutes and one hour we will start before. And suddenly we realize it was a raining and there's a suddenly too much of traffic and it is rerouting quite a lot. So it happens in our life also so many times certain things comes, emergency comes, contingency comes, lot many things comes where we, even the best of the planning, planning, certain things can happen. But you should not lose the focus on overall. You can still continue and do it this. So that is the one of the things which I learned in some part of the uh, journey, I think so 50, 60 kilometers, there was a single lane. And if you have been a pillion rider or a rider, you must have seen, you will find these long trucks going in the speed of 20 and 30. And it is so frustrating, I can tell you as a driving that you are going at the speed of 20. I was telling, okay, if I start walking, I may walk faster or whatever. But yes, that 50 kilometers, I must have taken maybe quite a lot of time, but you don't have any other way. Same thing happens in our life and the goals. When we are driving and there is a something in front of you, there is no other way, please continue the same thing. So it works with me and I was imagining, I'm saying if the market is down, you can't do anything. Nothing is in your control. Your control is to just continue your investments and SIP or whatever you're doing, because that will take care of a long-term future. And this is what my uh, learning of the last week Sometime that our journey or a long drive or something can easily see how we can take care of the overall level. There are another things which I have noticed. It's like a Murphy law when we were doing a toll gates. And uh, when afar you can see, okay, this number two of whatever the lane is quite empty. You go ahead. And when you're going ahead, uh, I think so their fast tags or something was not working some things. And he says, okay, we will try to go to the another lane. When you went to the another lane, the previous one has already gone. So this is the Murphy law. Whenever you want to change the lanes, you will see that your actual lane has gone much faster. So it is okay to be in your lane, your pace, your lifestyle, your goal. You will achieve it as long as you are consistent and the discipline with a long run. And that's why I believe that patience always works. And it is a journey or it is a planning. It works the same way. So this is what the financial planning just now you have seen that how to achieve, make sure the highest level is to take care of your risk management, then kids education, retirement and other things. And then your lifestyle works overall. So I will just go to the children's uh, education basic. So this is the three levels process you need to do it. And this is very basic. I always believe it is a one year old or just born or three years and five years or 10 years. This can done anytime. So you have to make sure where you do what to do be doing and by when. So very clearly where you are. So most of the time where you do want to be. So I can say now uh, how the financial, as I said, most of the people for a graduation in India, 20 to 25 lakhs is enough as on today value. You have to just write it about that. You wanted as on today after five years, 10 years, depending on the kids education around when they are 18 plus, you may require this for a higher education. Where are you means you have done some investments for the kids. Please do take care. So you will minus it from there as on today value and then you will be able to take care. So I'm just giving example. Lot many people have told me 
uh, two things very common that I have been doing some LIC or insurance for the kids' education. So make sure if you are doing that, map it to the goal. Or is it that coming when they are 18? That's very important. Most of the time when I've asked them, actually they have taken a traditional policy, but maturity is some other day, not on 18. Then how you are going to manage that? Not many people tell me that, no, I have taken a site or real estate which will take care of my kids' education. That is the uh, last two years, uh, things I can tell you, it was a uh, very difficult because real estate selling is not so easy. So in case if you have done it for kids thinking, please make sure that within uh, one year previous or two years previous, you start trying to liquidate in the planning process. How to get it there? Simple way, how we will, I will show you the Excel after this that uh, I required the 20 lakhs as of today and um, maybe after 10 years, it is going to be 40 lakhs. And I have already have 20 lakhs as of today. So rest of the 20 lakhs, how I can convert into the monthly and uh, yearly basis. Please review once in a year or maybe I can say twice in a year to see because it doesn't change so much so often. So I keep telling one uh, person came to me, a very young uh, person. Uh, he says that, madam, I check my uh, portfolio four times in a day. And I said, what do you do after checking four times in a day? No, I just wanted to know. I said, is it your goal is done or something? No. I said, can you change the market? No. Then I said, why you have to feel hyper and just do because my anxiety level goes high. So I said, because of your anxiety, the market is not changing. Neither you are having uh, any goals coming. So you don't have to do be happy and do your work what is in your hand and continue doing that and achieve your goals. Kids education, very important how to decide the target age. Make sure that you have very clearly if you want for an, uh, um, I can say, education level uh, on a after 12th, what we call a degree and I think so abroad they call undergrad or a master's. Being my experience, I can tell you nowadays the school fees is going higher than the degree colleges. So if we are managing about uh, school colleges, so you can try only for the master's also because your fees you can easily manage for the degree also until unless it is a professional like uh, engineering or the, I can say medicines, of course, if it is a normal, you will be able to manage. But if it is not that and management, then you may have to. Uh, worry about because it's a long and it may take around one to two crores also estimate the education cost where you want that's also very important uh, very clearly education planning is very important and uh, good thing is kids itself has been having a very vast uh, experience somebody came to me that they want only in the sports management and very few places you will find the sports management they have a diploma but they may not have a proper degree or master's Similarly, somebody came and asked me, Rachna, my daughter wants only in a Western music uh, post-graduation. So some of the specific things we have to understand and try to see what is the cost to uh, education because sometimes we may not have it in uh, India. So if you don't want in uh, having in India in the specific things, you have to estimate the cost and try to take care of those. If you're doing the abroad, please, they may not have inflation so much, but your Currency variations are very high, so you should take care of those part also. Calculate, and my way of thinking is do monthly investment then yearly, but you can do whatever you feel depending on you. Some of the facts which is talking about most of the Indians are considered overseas education, children looking in the US. So this is the one thing which I have noticed. A lot many people are looking in overseas, and overseas uh, masters are coming around 40 to 50 lakhs and undergraduates coming around 1.5 to 2 crores. So invest in education, then I will just, it's a small video, please go through. Okay, so I am not sure what is the reason. It's not coming, so I'll go to the next. Uh, this is another thing started uh, very recently, uh, change in our trends. I like you to give an awareness on this. 
lot of time people have started going in attending the counseling because it's not easy for a kid even for us uh, what they love it what is their um, as per them the uh, liking towards is what course can they do it which country or university is uh, good how to calculate the cost on that so that's another thing uh, uh, you can do it as a parent and of course from the kid side very very important to do that part of it even in india there are i can say you the fees variation is more than 5 to 10 lakhs depending on which course and you are been doing so try to do that part very important when you are trying to see at least abroad but in india also where you want it to do is very important this is the another things i have noticed somebody uh, i think so last to last week was a neat exam and somebody came and told me if i am not in this uh, rank county i am not going to get the admission and that without that it is going to go very very high and i said yes you should go backtrack and find it out across how you are planning to take care even if you wanted in a masters when you wanted to write a gmat and because some of the masters are looking 12 plus 4 not 12 plus 3 if it is 12 plus 4 how you are going to take care of one years of experience or one year of education go back track because admission process starts 3 to 4 months much earlier than the august time so this uh, month is going to be highest people are going abroad because of the they have the admission now the fall comes on the august always this is the smallest i can say you the power of compounding and it is much much higher very conservative number i am giving i am telling you this is much more than if it is not come into the rank on an average people will say that okay if i am doing a 5 lakhs or an a normal uh, masters in india abroad is 25 and medical is 30 then you can think of if your kid is 5 years old so you need to take care after 15 years how much that cost going to be very important part of it even though i have taken inflation at 7.5 being a parent i am sure you must have seen that fees doesn't go as per inflation fees goes much much more higher and higher and higher without they have and we don't have to say uh, is it higher or not because our kids are studying we have to continue so this has to be taken care of so i'm just showing you the excel now so you tell me if you are able to see my excel can you see yes ma'am now we see so this is a simple calculator we will send it to you uh, as on today how much you wanted to have the education so i'm saying if it is for a graduation you can think about 15 to 20 lakhs if it is a normal ba bcom uh, bba quite a lot of ca kind of things it is 15 lakhs means 5 lakhs a year is good enough you can just say 8% and you have to enter the child age so if you see your child age is 3 for example so at the age of when they are 18 how much money you have to require this is very important you can change these numbers and you will see yourself okay then i'm saying because of the kids education you wanted to go into hybrid funds kind of it for sometimes you can change even here i wanted 12 <coughs> percent returns uh, till they are joining so if it is 47 lakhs has to be done after age of 18 means it is going to be 15 more years <coughs> so if you have today's value of 6 8.69 hour i can say round off is 8.5 lakhs you will be able to achieve this you will have to put this money in a investment which is giving you around 12% returns if not you may have to invest around 1 lakh 27000 and just a 10000 rupees per month this is the power of compounding i am telling you because so 15 year is a good amount if your kid is 10 years you will realize it your monthly goes very high so most of the time whenever i go for somebody's kids have born i always say which i have done it from the day one uh, kids whenever they born i open their account and i have been doing an sip in their names so whenever we do sip in their name the power of sip can go very very high and it's very easy for us because it is going from their name so we know that this is linked to their education and all 
So you don't have to, even in case of emergency, we don't withdraw it. So that's the one thing I keep telling a people that do it investment from their name. That's the first learning. And second thing is do when they mourn or even if now you have not done it, start now. When you are doing yourself, I'm sure if you're doing an advisor, he will take care. But if you're doing yourself and it is in a market, one or two years back, please move it across and put it in debt funds because your all the otherwise profit will go away. Most of the time, we have to take care of two years or three years plus in advance to remove from the market and put it in a debt funds. So it will be easily taking care. So we cannot say that, oh, market is low, so I can't give the money and your kids cannot go because time is money. So similarly, we have a post-graduation and uh, under-graduation of those. We are telling here is another way of doing Instead of one lump sum, you can say, I want a five lakhs every five, four years for the next four years because uh, they are in the four years. And I need a 7.5 lakhs for the master. So here I am doing a calculation of future value on a year on year. Because it 18 uh, in this calculation, if I get together 27 lakhs, I am not going to pay all together. I'm going to pay in a four years. So it's a better I get it only year on year. So the investments will stay a little longer and you may have a benefit a little bit. That is another thing which I can do it across. You try to make this calculator and see how you can make sure that your kids' education is taken care of, peace of mind. Now I'll go to the uh, this uh, PPT, can you see now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What are the different options where uh, we can invest? I have been a very fond of um, child gift funds and of course, SIP in the kid's name. Child gift funds and a mutual fund is a good thing because they have a lock-in and they will give it to you at when they are 18 or when lock-in for four years, eight years. So that gives a good return. Being in a hybrid funds, it has been doing across very clearly. So most of the time, uh, I prefer that, but you can do it in SIP and equity funds. Make sure that you don't uh, withdraw in case of required. We should always take one insurance kids education, which is ULIP based if you want, or if you don't want a risk because you are already taking care of a mutual fund, so you can take a traditional. The good point in those is waiver of premium. So in case if something happens to us, we will be able to make sure that they get a lump sum money without premium when they are 18. PPF and Sukanya Samriddhi is also good. A lot of people do. Uh, even though I personally don't recommend a Sukanya Samriddhi, but yes, PPF and PF is, uh, PPF in the kid's name is also good. Uh, Sukanya Samriddhi, why I'm not doing? Because it can keep changing the things. It is 40, 21 years. And most of the time, if you're keeping for 21 years, I'm sure your mutual fund and equity will give you at least 10% returns. So I believe that it's better that to have a 10% return than 7%. That's the reason. A uh, lot many people have started using uh, international funds and uh, I can say multi-country, multi-currency because it's easy for them to con continue the dollar to dollar if they are very sure they wanted to plan a kid's education abroad. That is the new trends has been come across. But the kids and the money grows properly in the same way. Chinese bamboo is the world's tallest grass, which goes up to as high as 80 to 90 feet in a little over five years. When you sow the seed and start watering and nurturing it daily, you don't see it growing for five years. It would be frustrating, isn't it? But wait, miracle happens after five years. It grows from zero to 80 feet in less than 90 days. Similarly, growing well through SIP also requires a lot of patience. Had you started an SIP of rupees 10,000 in September 2010 in large cap fund, the value of your total investment of 3.6 lakh rupees would have been 3.57 lakh rupees after three years. Had you stopped an SIP, this temporary loss would have been permanent loss. 
But had you continued an SIB at the end of the fourth year, your value of total investment of 4.8 lakh rupees would have been 6.95 lakh rupees. And if your SIB still continues till March 2019, the value of total investment of rupees 10.3 lakhs would have been 17.38 lakh rupees. Remember, correction is temporary, growth is permanent. So continue your SIP for long term to create wealth. So I can see the SIP and the kids growing is the same way as we have a patience to see them how beautifully they're growing. And that's the way the portfolio also grows. So most of the second thing I wanted to pass it on, which I always tell people, the best part is kids are very intelligent. They are having so many options, which we must have not seen, and they are doing amazingly good. So what we can do it to make sure in case we don't have so much of money, we can take an education loan, which is all the interest is coming under ATE as an exempt. So if your interest loan also, education loan also goes two ways. If you are taking as a parent or it's you are giving as a kids. If kids is taking when they started earning, then they will be able to get the benefit. Otherwise, you can take a benefit, then you take it in your name. Second thing is, uh, if you think they are going abroad and doing, they may not be able to do ATE. So it's better you take it in your name. So at least you can avail in India. Of course, tuition fees is part and parcel of ATC. Of course, new regime doesn't have that. But if you are an old regime, you can take a tuition fees on those. Another trend is a lot of people say that, Rachna, we should have so much of higher education. People are having a single kid or whatever it is. Most of the time, we have to make sure in the taxation that minor kids' income, because I have uh, earned it, I have given a maybe standing instruction in their bank and they're doing investment, always club to the parents' uh, taxation. So uh, this question comes to me, Rachna, I have opened the PPF for my kids also and for me also can i take 1.5 1.5 lakhs no actually if you have a kids and you have open a ppf uh earning member maximum can do a 1.5 lakh so if i have i'm just giving an example we have uh, two kids and we have a ppf so me and anil together can have 1.5 and 1.5 so if i have taken a kid's name and they are doing 75 so i can do 75 75 75 75 so total i can do only three so it's not even though uh, slowly, slowly, they are closing the loop. But yes, it is not allowed as per the IT rule. So another income tax uh, premium, what you are paying, it is actually uh, 10 10 d Of course, it is a lump sum. Lot many people are doing even uh, uh, things because all the money goes to the kids and anything is a tax free in insurance. Do and don'ts, very important part of it. Open an SB account in your kids. Make sure they understand the value of money. Start early. Understand the economical variables. Sometimes uh, it may go good, bad, as I was telling. It can be real estate selling. It can be a market fluctuation. Anything. So you have to make sure two or three years back only how to take care of that. Make sure that things which you don't understand, don't invest. Try to read. This is another thing. Most of the time, what we do it, okay, my friend has taken, I will do it. It is good. It is better. But your friend's growth, your financial status is different than yours. Don't do sometime in a herd mentality. Understand yourself. We have a power of, uh, we call a Google. Learn yourself and do it. Ask uh, doubts if you have it. So nothing to be in hurry. These are the things if you are doing for uh, uh, applying for in a passport or a visa kind of it. So otherwise it is good. Um, now all these checklists are being taken care. Uh, things I'm going to tell more from uh, our perspective is network certificates are very, very different from each uh, country wise or the university wise. You have to understand some of them. They say, no, I'll take only the bank. Somebody takes, I'll take a mutual fund and statement and uh, stairs. Somebody says, I may take a real estate. Somebody says, no. So when you are giving and applying for abroad, you have to make sure that what kind of network certificate you require from your advisor and the CA. The same thing, I'll just go ahead. This is the last video and then I'll take the... How do I best plan? 
for my child's higher education. For most parents, planning for your child's higher education is one of the highest priority needs. Now, how do you go about it? The first is to be able to assess what is a likely amount of this education for your child. Many times it's too early to be able to even decide on which is likely to be the area that the child is going to pursue, which is fine. Start off with something of an average requirement and every two to three years go back and review it and possibly as you come closer to the requirement you will find that you have more clarity and you will be able to plan much much better in the later years but unless you start early you will not be able to build up sufficient corpus towards achieving it now if you have a few needs like you know you want to plan for overseas education or even for medicine, now those can, you know, have much much higher cost. So you need to plan for a much larger amount. So those are aspects that you will have to keep in mind, and it can have a significant impact on your personal finances. Now, how do you invest into once you plan and have understood okay, this is how much you want to plan for? We suggest look at a combination of avenues. If it's a very long term need then you can look at equities, you can make money work for you better so the returns are better towards the achieving it. But as you come closer to your requirement, you should actually keep reducing the risk involved so that you are able to achieve it in a much better way and it's not linked to market cycles. So in summary, plan ahead, invest in a diversified, diversified way and also possibly look at whether the need requires an additional life cover and if it requires, please use an additional life cover. So as he has already been uh, given the summary, but let me try to do uh, for planning the child education, try as early as possible. Each child is unique and the best of interest. You should do future. However average we can do it because we don't know what they love to do. I remembered our kid started wanted to do become a chef to the pilot and pilot to the now gamer and YouTuber. So whatever their friends keeps having and then keeps changing, we don't know. So making a corpus which can be good avenue diversification. As he says, one is taking care of a debt or a low risk and some of them which take care of a performance and the equity where you can get a good um, i can say exponential good returns find it out in case you wanted having a um, wanted to send to abroad this is the one thing i can tell you i started with few customers doing an abroad that time the dollar was 52 53 now it is at 80. so sending the money from here to there it's a, itself it's going to be a lot of difference so we never say, uh, I used to think only 3 to 5% differentiation in the currency, but when you're looking a long-term uh, dollar value, it has gone much, much higher. So try to take care of those, otherwise take the international fund where the dollar is not having a lot of variation. Diversification is always the best tool for reduce the risk. Consider the time horizon, the longer 10 years, and prepare the will. That's another thing which I keep telling. So I'm open to have uh questions whatever you have so sanjay can you just have questions yeah thank you ma'am uh, so i will be reading out the questions the first question we have is how good are the insurance linked child education plans which yield guaranteed and tax free returns do you recommend them how do you how are the insurance linked child education yield guarantee plan are tax free so uh, one thing I can tell you, uh, any insurance, forget it, child. Child is a just a rider, they say. It is give 5.5 to 6% returns if it is traditional, which is guaranteed most of the time. And it is tax-free, it goes to the kids. When you are taking for the kids, take a waiver of income. That's a very important, it's additional rider which required for the kid. But if you are having a kid small, you can take a ULIP also. 
So ULIP is the another things which you can do it. But now, uh, 2019 onwards, they have told above 2.5 uh, lakhs and above is it taxable. So uh, you can take maximum 2.5 lakhs and the rest you can do the traditional. My intention is the basic money should make sure that they are able to do if you are there or not there. That's where uh, my intention is. Uh, thank you, ma'am. The next question is, what is the difference between one-time premium investment and an investment with per year or month premium? What, what, which is beneficial? Um, monthly, I don't do it uh, because the admin cost is very high. So last few, uh, three, four years, you must have seen that regular uh, premium, which is a garnet date, of course, that comes under, uh, I can say, on a retirement side. But when you're paying the monthly, your payouts are coming lower because admin cost is higher. So what I tell people, you pay the premium either in a RD, you put it, or you do a debt funds and pay the insurance yearly premium. That's a better option uh, for an overall level. One time is done for a people on a retirement side. People are putting a lot of money in a, I can say, in FDs. And FDs are fully taxable. They are not on a capital gain. So taking care of a tax benefit, flexibility, and tax efficiency, one-time money people do it in a deferred income. It doesn't come for the kids, but it comes for the retirement as a tax free. Uh, Neha says, is it PMS is good? PMS is the same as an equity. Yes, it is good. As long as you think that you are looking for five years plus perspective. How much scholarship is helpful for uh, abroad, especially in UK? The amount is almost same. So I'll give you another thing, Sarita. It's uh, yesterday only one of my customer came and told Rashna, my daughter wants to do the, uh, uh, I think so, in a designing side. I don't know, NIFT or NID, uh, NIT kind of it. But uh, she doesn't want it to go. She wants to go to the UK. And I said, why suddenly UK? So she says, no, because... The difference is here the competition exams are very high and all kids cannot go to the competition exam and take it to the top 100 or top 200. So it is easier for a lot of time people have been going abroad and getting because I also believe we are much more smarter and easy to get in. But we have to realize it. The UK, uh, some places it's easy to get in, but going and working there is much tougher. So places, if you are going there and if you're not doing able to work there, it is not making much difference. So you have to understand which university is good and can you work there for some time and then come. That's the one thing I've been telling our people, but the amount is going to be the similar one. So I feel there is no questions and it's a wonderful to uh, have and I'm sure you enjoy your journey with your kids. Make sure around one hour time to spend time without a mobile or something and have just play with the, them or watch the movie with them or just go for walk or trek or whatever you like. That's a good thing. I think so. There are another things which is happening. Of course, I have also started recently. There's a new trends coming in near our house itself. There are 17 badminton courts are come. So I said, suddenly what happened? And I was reading the research that in India also people started looking more on a health conscious and felt very happy. We have been going like a twice in a week uh, with the full family to badminton, even though we know or don't know, but it is nice, good time together with the kids. You all can do that and have fun. Have a wonderful weekend. Yes, Sankita, you have raised the hand. Uh, Sanjay, can you allow her to talk? Sure. Yeah, Ankita, you are uh, can unmute and speak, please. Yeah, hello, ma'am. Yeah, uh, please. Uh, we have invested for our five year kid in a LIC policy. I don't remember the name of the policy. No we problem. are paying 46,000 per year. Uh, okay. The uh, day he is born, like five years, have, uh, we have already paid 46,000. Okay. The policy is like uh, if we withdraw in 18 years of his age, then we will get 20 lakhs. Otherwise, if we wait till 22, we will get 24 or 26 lakh something. So is it good to invest or should we surrender and go for a mutual fund? One minute. Uh, we are doing for 18 and minus 46, 500. 
I am not sure you will have that. I'm. I did simple mathematics now. Of course, there are difference in a bonus every year they declare. Uh, but I know that traditional policies of all, uh, not only LIC, everyone gives around five point eight to six percent perspective. So if I'm taking a forty six thousand five hundred for eighteen years, I'm remembering because you have done from the day one. It is yeah. giving around fifteen to sixteen lakhs. Okay. So I yeah. feel it is good, which is giving you the comfort of the 16 to 17 lakhs. So whatever you can think of that time. Okay. And if you have something, uh, I can say 5K, 2K, you can start the SIP for them, which will give you the extra effort. You don't have to remove because when you uh, surrender the uh, policies, which are traditional, you will not get the good amount. So I keep telling people, whatever you are doing, please continue that at least. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you so we, much. We got one question uh, in chat box. Yeah. Anand, can you suggest any one SIP, child gift SIP for my four year? My all time favorite is uh, HDFC child gift fund. It is the mutual fund. Uh, I like to uh, give a perspective here because sometimes people have come back and not taken that fund even though I love that fund and uh, it has been being a hybrid fund. I can tell you it is giving a 16% returns. Okay. Hybrid means it is 60 per 69% or 70% equity and 30%. It's called like a balance, aggressive balance fund. Why it is good and why it is not good. The good it is because I have chosen that that fund will become matured only the kid is eating. Why I have chosen as this? Because sometimes as a parent, even I have done so many times, when small emergency come, we redeem funds or we take the money from our investments. But in this fund, even what may be the emergency, because I have invested those money, which is given as a gift, as a birthday gift for our parents, in-laws or whatever. And I keep doing SIP in that. So I know that when they're 18, I, they will get around 30 to 40 lakhs. But the problem in that is, as soon as the child become 18, as per mutual fund, they will become a major and the money goes in the kid's account, not in the parent's account. So somebody came and told me, Rajna, if kid's society is not good or the friends are not good, if he doesn't pay because he has to sign from his bank, I don't want a control of my investment for him or her should go to her. So if in case if you are doing an SIP or an HDFC child gift fund, you have three values. You can take a four-year lock-in, eight years lock-in, or you can take a 18, the child 18. You can choose it and take care of it. But I always prefer an 18 years because I am sure as a parent, we are very well well sure of our upbringing that if I'm using that money for their education, why they should not sign it. Yeah, any other questions? No, no. Okay. So have a wonderful weekend. Have a tons of happiness, joy, and spend time with your family. Thank you. Bye bye.